Welcome to the Orlando Society of Model Railroader. This is Ben McKay's trolley line here in the city peninsula, reaching out to their Union Station. Right here. As many passing tracks and a single track here. Couple turn off Y sections and a sighting. Possibly good for expansion later. Or talks in the future. How are you doing it? And this is the man, Ben McKay. Yeah. And let me show you more clips. In this layout in action. And I'll Ben describe more and how it operates. Mm -hmm. We've been testing out a couple of cars here and there today. We found that this one in particular is working out the best for us. You want a snack? No, no thank you. With the system here, we have multiple power packs and different points where we can shut on and off certain isolated sections. Oh, okay. Such as right here, we have a little passing siding in our city. And you can see representative of that right there in the board. That tog, okay, there we are. Yes. Yeah, it'll be right here. You can flip it on and off. This is the passing siding. Uh, I think we I think we push this down to make the car pass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Down make it says exit I guess. Mm hmm All right. I'm going to try to get this car off of the off of the loop up here. Yeah. The other side, we have this street going up a ramp to our Grand Union Station. A little siding there and a Y in each end. We'll you can see with our street car here. As long as it doesn't have the pole pop off, we're all good. Did it pop off? Yes. Oh, shame on it. Shame. Certain poles are working, certain others are not in this layout. Okay. 
Now, normally, we would flip this switch. Uh, uh, today I'm going not to flip it because I want to keep the power pack with the uh, lowest potential uh, uh, on the low end of the layout so that there won't be any hill climbing on that one. So now, let's see what happens when we try to work the you can see one of them has more footage than the other. Mm -hmm. That is where we have an isolated section on this loop. Whereas, uh oh. Uh -huh. Would you like to describe what just happened? Major. No, I wouldn't like to, but I guess I'll have to. <laughs> the front truck did not take the spring switch properly. I just got one more, one more test. Let's look at the switch itself. Like that, it, right it climbed now. over the switch point. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It was going too fast, of course. Either way, you climb. Mm. No problem. Thank you. All right. That's probably that's right where it should start. Mm -hmm. Well, most cars will climb the hill on either power pack, I think. So I'm not sure of it. My choice of power is this. What's, what's oh. the other one doing down here? It's waiting. Yeah, they're both waiting. Yeah. So, so are you he, ready for me to start? Yes. So he will flip the one down there. Mm -hmm. flip, flip both of them. And also the one right there. His right hand activates the one at the station. Which is turning and moving, yep. That one's stalled. Yep. Ah. Yes. This layout is actually until today hasn't had a streetcar operating on it for a good year or two. Luckily that one stops. But you can see certainly here we have a couple hangers that are in need of attention and help. But that's okay. The we... hanger, uh, the unsoldered hanger, probably uh, threw the pole off. Did you get? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, and sometimes. Stalled again. Here. We'll go into the layout. Let's fix this. Did it come off the wire? Yes. Well, it's there we go. We'll have to do some work on that. You can see there. there's actually two wires similar to a trolley bus here that goes uh -huh. over the bridge. We elected to use that instead of a frog at these turnouts. And if we ever have an issue where we have to redo or fix this, this middle section here surprisingly pops out. You might be able to see right here a bit of a seam they haven't filled yeah and the wiring track is still kind of finicky this one needs attention 
There we go. A little touch will get it to move sometimes. Or not. <laughs> Always have to clean the overhead and the rails and operating. Yes, and has not entered the loop yet. Nope. It hasn't jumped the wire or the track. We've had some issues with it. a bit of an S curve right at this frog it just passed. Certain poles will make that, this part. That car at that slow speed entered all right. I don't know. It's hard to tell one car from the other. That one has a light colored roof. That's mine. Yes. The it's other one. It's working good now. The roof is good. It's not by itself well. there. Yes, by design. It's great. We I have. It wait there. <laughs> until the operator the, calls for it. The dispatcher will release it. Oh, wow. The right time. Yeah, we have the other streetcar doing the same. On the track diagram. Wow. And uh, it's so, got like a latching relay a system, something like that. I don't have relays in the system because I was able to buy four pole switches. And that kept the old wiring and maintenance, everything else simpler. Uh, Relays would do the same thing, of course. But this doesn't have a latch. What happens is there is an insulated section of, in that case, rail. If you look up there, uh, at, at the rear of the car, there's a gap in the rail. Okay, I see it. Okay, so there's yeah, a little right block there. Oh, right. more than the length of the car. If the car will... Uh, well, and then when I want it to go, I will power that. All I have to do is put power in the straight loaded switch here. And, okay, here we go. It'll, the car itself is uh, wired to have the bells and the, the lights. So then how long do you have to hold the switch until it passes a certain point? Yeah, the, there's another gap at the track switch. <laughs> I have to keep doing this, guys. And, and then they're back on, on power. It's my job. So you got it going good now, huh? We're doing the same thing in the other loop, but with one difference. The gap is in the trolley wire over there. I, I did not want to gap the rails on the curve, so I gapped the trolley wire instead. I haven't, I haven't demonstrated the track switch control yet. No, oh, he's waiting, waiting for this curve. This car may need help to get out because we have one, uh, Trolley uh, hanger that has come loose from the wire. Ah. Oh, we're going to get out of there. Certain cars can make help. it. Yeah, that's yeah. the way it works. Oh. If we go too slow, sometimes it's just going to stop. Well, that will go slow. It's on full power. We're having, we're having, we're having a power plant. <laughs> the hand of God always touching these. Word of warning, never touch a live <laughs> overhead wire on a real streetcar system. That's right. It's 600 volts DC. Yes. It's, it's typical. They're not all 600 volts, but most of them are. Boy, that's bad, isn't it? That's my car, isn't it? Yeah, I have... Well, it won't do well on the low power. Yeah. I'm borrowing uh, Tom's Black's Red Arrow car, and these are both Bowser Executive Line DCC with sound, three cars. The other one, 
New Orleans type. Yes. Yep. And uh, now All right. we just need to dispatch them. What happens is you get in the passing siding, there is a spring loaded switch. It's pressing down on this switch. Uh, put, puts power in the siding. Uh, both, both tracks at the same time. Yep. Just gotta let go once it's past that turnout. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right, you see it go. Right behind that station. For a moment, yes, it stopped. Now it's it's good. Yeah. It didn't derail that time. No. Well, yeah, they, try with, with the speed control in this position. Because it does need full power. Mm -hmm. and, okay, I think you're both ready to be called by the dispatcher. Uh, so, he will flip it. The station first. Usually that's the way I do it. Is it coming out all right? Nope. I can't see it for some reason. No, it, it needs help. Yeah, you can see, guys. This one right here is not attached to that hanger that's right here. So, sometimes the pole will just rub against the arm, causing a bit of issue. There we go. 